Hey, what's going on everybody? Sean here, the Detroit Disney Duo, and um, today is November the 9th, 2020, and I'm here. I'm here, and um, yeah, so I, I look, I started to make these, uh, these uh, everyday vlogs, and, uh, and I kind of like went off. I went off that I forgot to do them for a few days. There's some things going on, some personal things. And now, and now it's back. It's back, people. The, the blog is back. Anyways, um, we have a brand new microphone, by the way. I know. Um, usually we were using the Heil PR40, and now we have the Shure SM7B. I don't know if it sounds too soft, but at least on the EQ, it looks, on the mixing board, it looks spectacular. I can't tell uh, if it's really too low or not, but uh, we don't want to have too much background noise. Uh, if people are watching TV in another room, there are no sound doors here. Uh, who knows? It's uh, kind of uh, crazy, and um, and I have noticed there's no like soundproofing in the room. There are things that absorb uh, abs there, there is things in the room here that do absorb some of the noise, but some of the time it does not. Anyways, so um, that is the the new setup. Uh, we do have a p new pair of Sure cans on the way. They come in, I think, on the twelfth to the uh, to the place where I ordered them from, a place called BSW. You can go there and order your parts there, your your audio gear from BSW. I'm not a they're not a sponsor of my of my vlog or my channel on Disney, but uh, on my Disney, you know, Detroit Disney Duo, you know, channel. But, uh, you know, hey, that's where I've got a lot of my audio gear is from BSW. Uh, you can search them online for some audio gear. Anyways, they were great people. I got a spectacular deal. So what else can you work, uh, ask for, right? So, um... So it may sound a little different um, than it normally did when I was talking on the PR40. I don't want to make this a technical ordeal today about my, uh, you know, but I'm just pretty excited to use the new equipment for the very first time. And uh, it sounds, in my ears, it sounds really, really great. So anyways, uh, we're recording this with a QuickTime Player. Uh, it is the easiest way, other than using my regular uh, DSLR camera, uh, the easiest way to record some video and then put it into uh, what I use is Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. And uh, yeah, and that is the entire process that I'm using right now. And if I'm not using the DSLR, basically, uh, the or the mirrorless camera, I don't want to call it DSLR because the DSLR and a mirrorless camera are two completely two types of different cameras. If you are a camera nut, a bu uh, a camera buff uh, like I am, um, anyways, as a camera aficionado, there you go. That's a that's a word we're going to use the word aficionada, aficionado. Um, <clears throat> so let's um, what has been going on? So I started that. Um, I think it was like uh, November, the, the last one I have up, I, I forget what day it was, but, uh, November the 4th, now that I remember, November the 4th was the last time that I made a vlog for the daily vlog, and today is no November the 9th, so it's been five days, five days, I'm sorry about that, we're gonna start pumping them out more and more and more and more on a daily basis, um, I'll have to, I'll find things that I want to talk about. What's been going on here is that I have I have had this like um, uh, creators cramp. I guess that's what I'm going to call it, creators cramp. It's kind of like writers cramp, but it's called creators can't cramp for YouTubers. That's I'm that's my I'm coining this, so it's coined. It's already mine. I I own it. I own this key phrase, creators cramp. This is where you basically um you become you get into the rut of watching everybody else's material. And then every time that you want to create something, you just want to watch somebody else's material and you're like going, oh, why? How did that happen to me, right? And then you're like, oh, my goodness. So that's what happened to me. I get into this rut where I'm watching and watching and, and I'm just absorbing content and, uh, and I never make any of my own because I get too lazy or I'm like, oh, you know, or it's too late at night. It's, the, the timing is not correct. 
I miss out on my opportunity to make a, a vlog or I don't know what to talk about or I just don't know what I'm going to put out there that's worthwhile sometimes. But you know what? I just got to start putting it out there. I know you guys like watching it. I, I you know, uh, somebody's already told me, Kit, uh, Kit Zakimi has already told me, go for it. We want you to see 364 vlogs later. So, yeah, I'm putting it out there right here for you now. So, yeah. Anyways, see this old chair? We have to get rid of this. This chair, don't laugh here, but this chair, some people like having their old chairs. This thing, we need to raise some money here for a brand new chair in the, in, in our office. This is, this is it's, like, it's like an old pair of shoes to somebody's, you know what I'm saying? You know how you have those old pair of shoes you just never want to throw away? This desk chair has been become like the old pair of shoes that you just don't want to get away, give away, get out of there because you just like sitting in it and it becomes like the chair. It's it's like uh you know uh, I I feel like I'm living in an episode of uh you know um what what are those guys uh that had that where what's his name would sit in his favorite chair every single time, you know um. I'm having a line blank here, but I'll remember it. But, you know, uh, Big Bang Theory, that's what I was thinking about, where basically, you know, Leonard would sit in his chair every single time, and that was his chair. Well, that chair, it's not my chair, but it's my wife's chair, and that's where she sits constantly in that chair. And I ask her, I say, "Hun, do you think I should get you a new chair? And she's like, no, it's all right. I don't need a new chair. And I'm like, yeah, you do. I mean, look how, just look at it. And she's like, I love that chair. I don't know. Um, anyways, I feel say, I feel bad about it. But then again, it's like buying somebody another pair of shoes that they're never going to wear. Anyways, so, um, but no, she does not do that with the shoes. Trust me, we have lots of shoes. Lots of, lots of nice looking shoes. If I mean, if I was a lady, I would be jealous. But I'm a man, and I'm not jealous of like the lady's shoes anyways so um in a couple of weeks in a couple of weeks here's some news in a couple of weeks from now i will be again on uh, the pete McD pete mcdimmick nfl thursday night party for thanksgiving the detroit lions are playing now the question is that here detroit lions are going to be playing will matt patricia still be the coach I'm sure he'll still be the coach. But the question is, will he be the coach like after the season? That's our that's our new Lions coach from a couple years ago. We got him. He came from the New England Patriots. And the question is, since the team is losing, is he the reason why the Detroit Lions are losing another season? Yeah. We keep on getting rid of these coaches. You know, every time the Lions lose a season, there we're like, got to get rid of the coach. We'll get a new coach, and the team will do well. And then we get a coach, somebody awesome, right? And we'll get this coach, and then our team will completely just still suck. And then we'll say, aha, it must be the coach. And then, you know, it was like one of those Clouseau moments. Aha, you know? And then we take the coach, and we just get rid of the coach, and then the next thing you know, the team loses again the next year. So there must be something. I, I this is my opinion about this entire Detroit Lions coach firing thing. We need to start holding the players accountable for those players who are not stepping up to making their millions of dollars, or hundreds of thousands of dollars, whatever it is that their contract is. If they are not playing well, we need to get rid of them. Yeah, I was just looking at my shirt straight out of Clearwater Beach. You see that straight out at Clearwater Beach, Florida. If you've never been to Clearwater Beach, Florida, it is on the uh, the golf side. It is a beach way on the golf side, a few hours away from uh, Walt Disney Orlando area. You can go there and swim in it and uh, and find yourself straight out of, you know, Clearwater Beach. I got this uh, from my wife who went there one year to Clearwater Beach, Florida, and uh, I guess they enjoy it because it's really a great place. I've never been there myself. Um, yeah. So, 
Um, and we don't have beach. We have beaches here, but they, it's always the E. coli that we're always worried about. Like, am I going to get E. coli or what? Right. So it's Thursday. Today, well, today is Monday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Back to the work grind uh, in the morning hours. And um, I think we're, uh, it's been, it was a great last few days. I mean, almost the last week, almost the last week. It's been 70 plus degrees here in the D. Um, We're not singing that song, you know, it's too cold in the D, if you know what I mean. You know, that song that everybody may or may not know. You could go find it on YouTube. It had like a bazillion hits uh, on it. It was too cold in the D. Go search it up. It's kind of like an an amateurist kind of video. It, it was maybe they didn't plan on making it a hit, but it, you know. But anyways, it's a very awesome video, and it is a lot of cold here in the D. I'm just saying, for whatever it's worth. So anyways, um, it's a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day. Tomorrow, on on Tuesday, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be seventy seven degrees here in the D. It's that's nuts. Um, but then again, um, it could be a Indian summer. Um, that's what they call it. I don't know why they call it an Indian summer. Those summers where the fall is warm. I don't know where that key that was that was where who how did that term get its phrasing from Indian summer. I'll have to check into that somewhere or somebody will have to put it down in the comment section because I have no clue and now I'll have to Google it and then whatnot. Pretty soon we won't be able to Google things because, well, because uh, all the, uh, you know, the, the Congress wants them to break apart, you know, get rid of, you know, you will have to have more competition, even though there is Yahoo and Bing, and I don't know if Alta Vista is still around, but they do have competition. People just don't. You never hear anybody like go go Yahoo it up, you know. They just like go Google it up, you know what I mean? So it is. Uh, it is what it is. Anyways, so uh, yeah, my wife um, went to uh, Walt Disney World. Uh, recently, and um, I like shopping on Shop Disney when we have the 30% off. I mean, that was really great sales that were going on not too long ago. It went up, uh, like, I think it extended till, like, October the 31st or something like that. Woo! Like Halloween. And, um, but I have to say, I now have a, a ton of these shoulder plushes. I mean, I have a lot of them. Uh, I'm going to start wearing them on my shoulders, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to wear them uh, all over the place, these shoulder plushes, and I'm going to have them, and I'm going to be wearing them, at least one, when I have a video. I did not bring one down to have on my shoulder. I have, uh, uh, well, I'm going to make a video just about shoulder plushes. I do, I'm going to have to order one more. I seen that they had another shoulder plush. It was in the parks, but, you know, the things that are in the parks don't get to shop Disney for some period of time, or even sometimes they don't even make it there on shop Disney. Um, I think they should like, um, they should have a section of shop Disney that says in parks. Now merchandise, you know, now you can buy it now. I think they should do that real time, both places. So everybody can get, I think they should, it would fare well that you would be able to buy things that are, in the parks now, they're on Shop Disney, and they would make a killing. I think I think they would definitely. I don't think that would that would ever deter anybody from not going to the parks, and then being in like the gift store and going in the Emporium, and you're like going, oh, I love this. I'm in the Emporium and I'm shopping because everybody likes going to the Emporium or the World of Disney in Orlando. Of course, because you want to be in Walt Disney World and then you want to go look at the merchandise while you're there. But when you just can't go, then the next best thing should always be Shop Disney. They should add a lot of things. I, I do like the fact that they're they're taking things from, from, from Star Wars land and now getting them online so you can buy stuff that is normally in 
um, Star Wars land and then getting it in Shop Disney. I would like to th- see that with all of the merchandise from all of the places, all over the place, and all the theme parks for Disney. I want to see food and wine stuff. I, w- I want to see it all. I think that would sell them a million bajillion dollars. Disney, if you're listening to to me, that is probably the best idea that I just gave you in the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I have not watched. The Mandalorian came out also. Uh, they didn't drop them all, all at once. It wasn't like, um, you know, here's like tw- 12 episodes or 10 episodes of The Mandalorian. Here you go. Go at it. No. No, 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 no. Disney is playing it smart. They're like this. We'll give you one episode a week. You come back for it. I think that's the best thing to keep you kind of coming back. Baby feeding you that way that you come back to the website and watch. I mean, it keeps your viewers coming back instead of dropping something and then they binge watch it. They stay up all night long and then that next day or two after they sleep it all off, they never show up again to your website because that's the only thing that they were there for was for that TV show. Yeah. Um, Disney is, is has gotten brains about that. Don't don't give it all to them at once. Show them the carrot of the Mandalorian. That carrot of the Mandalorian. Come on. Week four, week five. Um so it's gonna be interesting. Um I'm I don't wanna I don't like talking about politics, but I think that is for Disney wise. Um well, you know, Donald it was a big ordeal when Donald Trump got elected and then they came and they did Donald Trump's voice and then it was first of all there was there was this big long wait waiting time for him for his animatronic to show up in the Hall of Presidents and then you know we were waiting and waiting and waiting and then you know finally he got it together and I guess he went there and you know and did the speech and then you know they got him there in the Hall of Presidents right and I heard and this is what I hear from the crowds there that ever since Donald Trump has been in the Hall of Presidents at Disney that the lines are just huge they're always huge and um, they're huge. They're the longest lines ever to get into the Hall of Presidents since he he was he was put there. Now, I also am hearing that <clears throat> that Joe Biden, when he's put into the if if he becomes the president, because there is he's we're still waiting for the final results. I mean, for the certifications, for everything to all the lawsuits, everything to come about. If Joe Biden gets in, I hear that you're going to be able, it's going to be the most relaxing um, Hall of Presidents that you've ever been in. It's going to be so relaxing that uh, they're going to make it even 15 minutes longer. And then also, because it's going to be 15 minutes longer, that means you'll be able to take a nap like Joe Biden. They're going to play like very patriotic music, music, uh, Music sounds so that you can get your extra nap. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's what's going to happen. I hear there's going to be a bunch of a bunch of old people sleeping in the Hall of the Hall of Presidents once Joe Biden gets put in. I mean, yeah, I'm just joking. OK, so that's enough of those jokes that I have lined up there. I don't have any more. <clears throat> Um, I did hear that Sam the Eagle may uh, may be uh, now uh, out of uh, he he. Um, if Sam the Eagle right, if Sam the Eagle um, does not make back to the Muppets, I think that he should really take over um, at the uh, the Hall of Presidents. I could that that would be really great though if he was like the guy. You know, usually they have one of the cast members come announce the things. I would that I think that would be really kind of cool to include the Muppets. Somehow with the Hall of Presidents. Spot on. Disney, idea number two. Are you listening to us here and me talk about what I think that you should do to the Hall of Presidents to make it more 
great. Anyways, so <clears throat> that's just some thoughts I have in my head about the Hall of Presidents. So, anyways, not much has gone on the last couple days. It's been kind of boring. So we're back with the, you know, the Sean stories. And that means that basically we're going to be doing this vlog every day, whether I'm sitting right here in my fantabulous desk behind this fantabulous mic or that I'm using my, uh, you know, my mirrorless camera, not the DSLR. And, um, if I'm behind my, you know, and outside showing you Detroit or showing you the outdoors or what it looks like, maybe, um, you know, and stuff like that. So I hope to see you guys a lot more in the future. Um, come back for more information and more Sean stories and uh, whatnot. So I thought I'd talk about those two things today. And uh, tomorrow we'll talk about something else. Um, you know, the big thing about daily vlogging is I'm always working every single day, five times a day out of the week. And, 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 and then we, I, uh, and then I talk about what I'm going to talk about what I, what went on in my day. Uh, Cause things do happen, even though you're working. Um, I never talk about my job. I will never talk about my job, but also things that just go on, you know, throughout the day, just generally speaking, and then talk about whatever's on my brain, on my mind. That's going to be, uh, how the vlog is. Yeah. Okay. For now, talk, talk to you guys later and always over and out.